Hello, my name is Michael Stein. Currently, I serve as the Ward 4 School Committee member, and I am seeking re-election on November 7th. My wife and I are proud Bridge Street School parents and strong supporters of public education. Both of our children have IEPs, and we understand the complex challenges faced by special education students and their caregivers. Professionally, I have worked in nonprofit and educational fundraising, and also have a PhD in political science. I am currently the Director of Foundation Relations at Amherst College, and this semester I am co-teaching a course in Black Studies. It has been an honor representing Ward 4 on the school committee this term. Our district is made up of exceptional educators, staff, students, and caregivers. Our community values education and wants all of our children to thrive. Like many districts, we face significant challenges. As a member of the Budget and Property Subcommittee, I have spent many hours grappling with our district budget. Despite the election of a Democratic governor and the passage of the Fair Share Amendment, Northampton will not receive any significant increase in school funding. While the state and federal government do need to provide more funding, it is ultimately the responsibility of the city to ensure our schools are adequately funded. I am proud to have voted alongside my colleagues to override the mayor's proposed fiscal year 23 budget in order to fund the current NACE contract. For too long, the city has balanced its budget on the backs of its workforce, and I will continue to be a strong advocate for increasing staff compensation. As the education workforce continues to shrink, it is a wise investment to pay competitive wages and invest in our employees. The long-term success of the district and our children is tied to our educators and staff. Our district is not alone in facing the challenge of bullying. The plan outlined by our new superintendent, Dr. Portia Bonner, is an important first step to move us forward, and I'm hopeful that it will improve the climate. The plan includes updating our district's policies and practices in response to the needs raised by our community. As part of this work, I will continue to promote the adoption of restorative justice practices in our district, push for greater accountability, and advocate for improved communication. Another challenge we have faced is a multi-year backlog of meeting minutes. The Attorney General is requiring our district to make good faith effort to quickly remedy the backlog. I have been instrumental in helping the school committee grasp the magnitude of the backlog and work through an editing and revision process. I have also encouraged our new superintendent to develop a new plan to complete the backlog of minutes and ensure we are compliant moving forward. We also face broader cultural and political challenges. The ongoing attack by the right on public education curriculum and trans youth is chilling, and Northampton is an appealing target for outside groups. We have and will continue to be targeted by these groups, and I will continue to be a strong and uncompromising advocate for our curriculum, our policies, our trans community, and all marginalized communities in the district. In addition to the challenges, we also have great opportunities in the years ahead. I continue to collaborate with members of the Northampton Youth Commission to pursue electric school buses, part of a larger effort to improve our infrastructure to respond to climate change. We have embraced a new early literacy program based on the science of reading that will better support all of our readers. Under the leadership of Superintendent Bonner, we are well positioned to develop a renewed vision and set of goals for Northampton Public Schools. As a school committee member, I devote a lot of time preparing for meetings, engaging in deliberative debate with my colleagues, and communicating with the constituents of Ward 4. If re-elected, I will continue to serve with integrity and provide the leadership and accountability the position demands. It is my sincere hope that the residents of Ward 4 re-elect me on November 7th. Please contact me if you, would like, if you have any questions or would like additional information about my campaign.